All right, welcome back to the RBL, and we are now only three more games until we simulate to All-Star Weekend, and it's only going to be the All-Star game because, well, if you play 2K, you know the dunk contest and three-point contest are basically broken, so I think we can all agree on that. And a cool part of the All-Star game is that the players get to wear their team jerseys, unlike the NBA, how they used to do that. And before we get into the games, I also want to introduce who has committed to the 2025 RBL Draft. So far, the notable names are Ben Simmons, Christian Wood, Jashan Tate, Nishan Hyland, Jackson Hayes, Spencer Dinwiddie, uh, AJ Griffin, Davian Mitchell, Joe Ingles, and Seth Curry. That's only like five games into the season. We already have some very talented players ready to join the RBL. Adding players like these will help us compete with the NBA, and we're actually not doing too bad ratings wise. And I think it's because people like that the RBL is basically college basketball combined with the EuroLeague. The NBA has become very stale because every team besides like the Nuggets or like the Knicks, Pacers, they all play the same. The point guard or shooting guard just drives into the paint and then kicks it out to a shooter. And the teams in the RBL all play differently where defense is emphasized uh, because hand checking is allowed in this league and it really makes a difference. And it creates closer, more intense games and the playoffs, I cannot wait for the playoffs in this league. In a couple seasons, my ultimate goal would be to do something similar to what Sean One Up did. Uh, he created his own basketball league uh, in 2K24. But for All Star Weekend, uh, his All Stars play the NBA's All Stars, and I want to do something similar down the line: NBA versus RBL. But yeah, those are the uh, updates, and uh, I'll give uh, some more updates later uh, before the Panthers uh, uh, Liberty game. So yeah, make sure to like, subscribe for more RBL content. Enjoy the games, guys. And the first game we're going to be checking out is the St. Louis Sound versus the uh, Chicago Legacy. The Chicago Legacy, I think, may make a playoff seat, but it would be very low, 7 or 8. I think the St. Louis Sound could be a top 3 team in the league. I love their mix of defense and uh, solid um, uh, cutting. They have guys like Oladipo who loves to get to the rim. Uh, Justice Winslow is great at getting to the rim. So uh, Then they have DeAndre Jordan in the paint. and. Yeah, speaking of DeAndre Jordan, he slams it in the paint, and yeah, I, I really like the sound team. I think they could definitely win the championship. I think the favorites I'd have to say would be the sound, the force, and then what's another team I really like? Honestly, dude, I may jump on the Sparrows bandwagon. I love the Sparrows. Jimmer Fredette with a bunch of veterans is pretty dangerous. Um, but first, we're, we're only four games into the season. Five, four games, something like that, so... Way too early prediction, but there is Leangelo Ball getting his first RBL basket. He, um, yeah, he was one. He was actually one of the last picks in the draft, and Chicago got him. And we'll see what he can do this season. He could definitely be a good uh, wing off the bench for them. And there's Ball again. So hey, maybe on to something. And then Alex Len slamming it big. Alex Len making an appearance in the RBL. Kind of a forgotten big man. He was like a he was like a top five pick in one draft, and he just he's never fizzled out. And RJ Hampton, who had a very short career in the NBA, kind of interesting. He, he's still very young. He's like 22, and he's already out of the league. But he's probably he's probably the best player on the legacy. Like, uh, he's probably gonna have to carry his team for them to do anything. And there is a versatility from Thomas Bryant showing that he can make three point shots. Very uh, good offensive big man. And Leangelo Ball making a lot of shots in this game so far for the Legacy. But the Sound are winning handedly, and they are just so good. Killing Hayes making a shot there. And yeah, the uh, the Sound are just too much. Like I said, they're one of the best teams in the league, uh, from what I can tell. And the Legacy, they may make the playoffs, or they may be in the uh, Elimination uh, Draft Lottery Tournament. So yeah, good win for the Sound. And uh, they did what they were supposed to do. I also love, I love the jerseys of the sound. Look at that. So cool. And player of the game was Victor Oladipo. Congrats to him. Well deserved. Uh, what what a story for Oladipo. He had a crazy couple seasons for Indiana. Got injured and was never the same. But uh, hopefully he can revive his career in RBL and become like a, one of the faces of this league. Because that's the thing we are missing. We are missing like a good face. We have great players like Oladipo. Jonathan Isaac, John Wall, but maybe he could be get that face for us. But on to the next game, another championship contender. That was another team. The Nashville Stars versus the Baltimore Glory. 
and the story of Elijah Patterson. If you watch the first video of him, you know he is the best player on the National Stars, and he's actually uh, he's my best friend. <laughs> I created him. Uh, we played uh, middle school basketball together, and then uh, like we, we played basketball with each other in high school as well. But he he's ginormous. Okay, he's like six foot five. I made him six foot ten in this game, but he's a ginormous dude. But even though he's so big, dude, his mid range jump shot is way the best, like in person jump shot, like mid range jump shot I've ever seen. I don't know how he's so good at the mid range game, at his size. So. That's what I made him good at. He uh, he's, he moves very well for a big man, and he has a great mid-range jump shot. So we'll, we'll see what he can do against the glory. There's Danny Green making a three for the Nashville Stars. I like this team. They have a lot of veterans. They play good defense, and they have solid shooters like Danny Green. And speaking of the mid-range game, there's Elijah Patterson hitting it for Nashville. And a good lob. Great lob up to DJ, or no, that's Michael Carter Williams. We'll see DJ Steffens later, but MCW, I think, could do some real work in this league. He's great at driving to the rim. He gets rebounds. He gets assists. So I, I, if Nashville gets far, do not be surprised if Michael Carter Williams wins MVP. I'm making an early prediction. I think Michael Carter Williams may be MVP. And there's Dwayne Sutton. Playing center, so story about Dwayne Sutton. He is a six foot five small forward, but whenever he played for Louisville in college, he also played center a lot for them. He he hustles. I love watching Dwayne Sutton play basketball, and I I deliberately offered him a contract in the RBL because I'm like, this dude deserves to play some meaningful basketball. He played for the G League Warriors for a while, but I love watching Dwayne Sutton play basketball. So yeah, he's he's the heart of Baltimore. He is the heart of the Baltimore Glory. And it's a pretty close, close game so far. Uh, can the Glory be the first uh, home team to win a game, at least in the games I've watched? Obviously, other home teams have won, but in the games I've watched, dude, all the home teams have been losing. It is home court advantage is non-existent. There's Blake Griffin getting in there. Bob and Glory have some names. It's just their defense is so bad. And there is Harry Giles. Harry Giles. Uh, was a really uh, hyped up Duke prospect, uh, and I think he'll be very solid big man next to Elijah Patterson. Elijah's not much of a defensive player, so that's where Harry will step in. But closer game, uh, not really. But uh, yeah, the the glory uh, beat up on the uh, Nashville Stars and become the first home team to win a a game. So good for the glory. All right, so we are now 40 games into the season, and the final game before All-Star Weekend is the Louisville Liberty versus the Fort Worth Panthers. This is the battle of a gritty team like Louisville playing a team purely based on offense, the Fort Worth Panthers. And uh, before we get into the last game, let's get into the stats. We're 40 games in. Let's see where the teams are, who are the best players. So if the playoffs happen right now, the teams getting into it would be the Pittsburgh Force, Virginia Storm, Louisville Liberty, Athens Ravens making it far, the Kansas City Sparrows, St. Louis Sound, the Fort Worth Panthers, and then the National Stars. And the teams battling for the top eight draft picks are the Sharks, Glory, Calvary, Barrage, Bulldogs, Wolverines, Lions, and then dang, the Legacy. The Legacy are the worst team in the league, and the team I'm most surprised about is the Lions. I thought for sure they'd be a playoff team, but they're not even close. And uh, let's get into who is leading the league in scoring. And I promise you, if you had a thousand guesses, you're not going to guess it. Deontay freaking Burton. And you may be seeing 13 points and be like, man, this league sucks. Um, it doesn't. It's because there are eight less minutes a game and hand checking is allowed. That's why the numbers are uh, much less than, say, the NBA. So when, I, when we see a 30-point game happen, it's basically a 50-point game in this league. So you have to earn your points in the RBO, unlike the NBA. But also in the running is Jimmer Fredette, Derrick Rose, Tyreek Evans, and Deion Waiters uh, as the top scorers in the league. And then the league leader in rebounds is Yudoka Azubuki, along with Oscar the Shibwe, Dwight Howard, Jared Solinger, and then JaVale McGee. The leader in assists is, is not surprising, it's Ricky Rubio. And then one of the best defenders in the league, Jarrett Culver, leads the league in steals. And then, also one of the best defenders, Dwight Howard, lead leaguer in blocks. So, yeah, those are the stats 40 games into the season. And then let's head into this Louisville Liberty versus uh, Fort Worth Panthers game. I'm quite intrigued because the Fort Worth Panthers are a, uh, a good playoff team. So are the Liberty. Liberty one of the best teams in the league. But they play completely differently. Liberty are gritty. They play slow. 
Uh, and uh, the Fort Panthers, they are a complete perimeter team. They got guys like Tyreek Evans, Deontay Burton's a good shooter, uh, and then Kemba Walker. I forgot to mention Kemba Walker on this team, and uh, he's he's their main uh, guy on this team. Uh, speaking of Kemba Walker, there he is, getting get into the paint. And speaking of Kemba, there he is again, making a good three-point jumper. And I'm just going to let you know, this uh, this game was amazing to watch. A lot of fun highlights in this game. And uh, it was basically a... Uh, there was two players, and I think you'll see uh, who they are, but it was a two two player game. And there's Imani Bates, who uh, had a pretty good game. And there's Jonathan Isaac, and uh, if you haven't watched uh, any of the episodes or forgot, Jonathan Isaac is a co-founder of this league. Uh, you may see his brand on the court, Unitas. Uh, that is the main uh, clothing sponsor of the URBL. You know, like how. Uh, NBA has like the, the Nike logo. That's that's our logo, and uh, yeah, Jonathan Isaac. He managed to get released by the Magic. He he's just he felt like he didn't fit in in the NBA culture, uh, and this league will happily promote you know his pro god clothing brand. And oh my, half court shot. Did he get it off? Get it off though. Good shot from Kendrick Nunn. Uh, let's see if he got it off. From the replay he got it off. Mark. Good shot from Kendrick Nunn. Got it off in time. This I love this Liberty team. They have a good mix of defensive players. Then they have uh, elite guys like Kendrick Nunn, who if you need a basket, just call up Kendrick Nunn. Imani Bates is a good ball handler for them. Jonathan Isaac can score from anywhere and one of the best defenders in this league. And there he is in the post. In the post, making easy work of the Fort Worth Panthers, who do not have many good defensive players. It's Deontay Burton. That's about it for them. Good shot from Tyreek Evans, who is suspended from the NBA for, uh, I forget uh, what substance it was, but we're giving him a chance. But if he pops for anything, we're cutting him. But uh, good shot from Imani Bates there. If he can make three-point shots, he'll be dangerous. And great lob. Imani Bates is a great passer, and him and Jonathan Isaac have great chemistry. And speaking of great chemistry, they throw another lob. Back-to-back -back plays for them. Here, this is what I'm talking about. This game was so much fun to watch. So many highlights. And it looks like, unfortunately, we have an injury. Colin Castleton, former center for the uh, Florida Gators. Looks like he uh, got hit with an injury there. Yeah, it looks like Goga hit his uh, chest area. Who knows what that is. Lung issue or something. And this is a bad matchup. Jonathan Isaac on uh, Aaron Holiday. Jonathan... He's going to make that all day. And he's having an insane game so far. Speaking of insane games, so is Kemba Walker lighting up the Liberty. But he just has no help right now. Tyreek Evans has not been playing well. Oh, dude, Kemba. Kemba is on fire. He makes not a full court shot, but it definitely far back from half court line. He's having a great game. A shot from Imani or Mal Malachi Flynn. Malachi Flynn is uh, the starting point guard for the Liberty. Great offensive player. Good shot there from Kemba Walker, who is carrying this team on his back. And unfortunately, it was not enough. The Liberty take this game. A uh, fun game to watch. Uh, the gritty defensive team won, and I'm excited to see where this Liberty Liberty team can go. They have a cool logo, cool uh, jerseys. And uh, they're fun to watch. And uh, congrats to Jonathan Isaac for winning player of the game. And yeah, that is it. Uh, a lot of new updates. Uh, a lot of games. Three games. And the next video will be the All-Star game. And then we'll probably get into the playoffs in episode 6. So I'm excited for this league. Make sure to like, subscribe for more RBO content. And you can pause here for all the box score. I know that was requested a lot. But hey, I'm just a kid. And this is my opinion.